Uh oh class, you guys should already know what time it is. What's up and what's percolating? Members of the jury, ladies and germs, as you guys can see man, it's your host of the most, Paul Cantu, back with another collection video. And this one has been highly anticipated and much requested. As I said on my last collection, man, if y'all get this video to 2.5K likes, I will drop the t-shirt collection and y'all got it to 2.5K as of yesterday. So here we are today. Now, with that being said, I'm also sorry for giving you guys blue balls because yes, I read the comments on the videos. I'm sorry about that, but hopefully you guys can get it off. And this one. Oh, 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 you know what I'm talking about. Oh. Also, semi-major side tangent. Um, If my teeth are red, I'm sorry. It's not because I've been sucking off a vampire. Twilight, yo. It's because I've been uh, slurping on some Sonic. Mm -hmm. Strawberry limeade. So delicious. But again, apologies for keeping y'all waiting. Bro, my best friend don't follow me because fool is waiting so long on this t-shirt collection. Only met him once though. This isn't the best collection in the world by any means. It's just stuff that I like. And like Ray Schremer said, I like what I like. I like what I like. So without further ado guys, let's hop, skip and jump into some vintage real shit. One of the realest finds I ever got was this first t-shirt right here, which is the Tupac Shakur t-shirt. So this is a vintage wrap tee. And guys, I got this for $2 in Goodwill. It is hands down one of the craziest, most divine finds I've ever gotten in my life. Now, what's nuts about this, bro, is I've been a Tupac fan since I was a youngin', right? Since probably about fifth grade, because you guys know, grew up in the hood in Lamarck, Texas, 2019 murder capital of you know, Texas, you feel me? You know what I'm saying? You guys think I'm bullshitting. 409 G County, baby, that's overexposed, but yeah, I'll put a little screenshot right there. So I grew up in a very kind of ghetto city community to say the least, white middle-class family. So I was like the white kid thrown into the hood. So I just remember, bro, in fifth grade, man, I got the greatest hit CD and I was banging it on my CD player. And Mariah comes up to me and she goes, Pa, what you listening to? And I had Hail Mary just banging through the headphones, just like war ready in the fifth grade. I ain't a killer, but don't push me. Revenge is like the sweetest joy next to getting pushed. It's just crazy, man. I'll never forget that memory. It just always sticks with me. Cause she's like, Pa, you jamming to that? And I was like, hell yeah. <laughs> so yeah, super funny, man. Shout out this shirt right here. So I got a little pile of black tees on this table. Um, Cause you guys know, man, we have the whole collection in the dining room for now. Uh, but you guys saw on my Instagram, I dropped this crazy banging picture wearing this Siempre Contigo, which means I'm always with you. Um, little like Mexican religious rap tee is kind of the vibe. A lot of people wanted to cop this off me. Shout out that boy Frankie one time too, man. Um, he said, man, if you got an XL, hook it up. Bro, I'm sorry, Flo Goods. I don't have it in a double XL, my mans. But uh, getting to one of my next favorite artists, we have, of course, Bob Marley. Yeah! My favorite song is uh, One Drop, also Jam Ambush in the Night. It's my homie Young Clipper's favorite song by him. Fuck with me. But yeah, Grayscale on one side, um, and of course, heavily saturated and vibrant on the other. That shirt is not vintage. It's like, I feel like just like a little tourist tee that they would kind of sell in like a, a shop on Venice Beach or something. Now, you guys know I'm a big fan of the UFC. I've been watching the UFC kind of since the Chuck Liddell days. <laughs> And uh, the arch nemesis I feel to Chuck Liddell would be your boy Tito Ortiz, man. Like the Hispanic Eminem with the bleach blonde hair. We just commit. Oh, there are teeth. Oh. Right here. Liddell's down. So you got the Tito T, boy just big, flexing, swole as hell. Love this UFC T. A lot of people, I guess, don't know about the older fighters, but man, that dude Tito was, he was kind of cold with it, bruh. Um, so you also have this tee from a fan, that Teddy Sheringham shirt right here. Played soccer since I was like four years old. Um, officially, I think I was five when I started, but unofficially, you know, I was semi-pro in that hell at the age of four. So yeah, I got that from a fan from you guys, so I appreciate it. And then you guys know I had to come through with a banging classic single stitch in this biatch. You have the dare to keep kids off drugs tee, so soft. It just drapes the nipple flawlessly, so of course, need it. Now, this shirt right here is in same guys we have the fear and loathing in las vegas tea and i'm not even gonna lie man see i don't know everything i don't pretend to know everything when i found this shirt i just liked it for the art itself i was like what is that is that like a band or something so i threw it in a pile of dirty clothes got around to actually tossing it on body like two months later and then i found out 
Yo, man. This is from a movie starring Johnny Depp and it's worth like $500 to $1,000 depending on how you want to price it. <laughs> and price things as you will, I'm not trying to get into it anymore, man. All right, so this shirt is just nuts. Um, and yeah, I got this in the plug, which is a family thrift outlet. That's a store I promote, so I got film access. I think it is gonna stay in my personal collection because I love the fit. So a lot of this stuff isn't like crazy grails. I mean, some of it is, but I just like the fit or it has a nice backstory to it, and that's why I resonate with it. All right, so this next piece, actually these next two pieces, are just reprints right here. So they're not vintage, but the homie sent them to me to my PO box, so I really appreciate it. You got that little Summerfest, I think that's what it says, Superfest, and then you have the Snoop Dogg tee as well. Now this shirt, I actually did get in Los Angeles, and Goodwill was charging a lot for this banger. They're charging 16 bucks. Personal file, tripping by the offense number 15. So when I saw Goodwill charging 16, I was like, oh hell no. Nah. But then when I put it on torso, I was like, oh hell yes. I love this, man. It's swagtastic and Jurassic, Jurassic Park all over print. Amazing. Now this banger I got for 30 bucks at the, I, it wasn't the vintage hip hop flea market, but I think it was like break free, you know, like a, a break dancing uh, community and nice center in Houston. They had a little vintage pop up and I got this Joker tee. I love wearing it. There are pics of me on my IG rocking this with some red pants. It's very hard to pull off red pants, but with this shirt, anything is possible shout out joker <laughs> all right now this shirt right here is my swag so this is the astral world tweety t circa 1991 and for anyone from houston you know astral world was a theme park that's what travis got named his album after and i remember going to astral world with the coke can as a kid that would get you a discount and going on dungeon drop one time a chick was so scared she was flailing her legs and her flip-flops flew off over the protective netting and she never got them back. So that's just a fun little childhood memory for you guys. Now this piece right here is like Nemo, Marlin, and his mom before the Barracuda or whatever the fuck fish that was viciously murdered her. But yeah, fishes get you hella bitches. So one time for the one time, I love this shirt. I like do yard work and stuff in it. Cause even when I'm getting dirty at the gym, yard work or sexually, I like <laughs> I like having you know some vintage garments on me. Cause yes, I be piping with the shirt on. <laughs> no, let me stop. All right, bro. This next piece is a Takashi Murakami. I really buy new stuff, but I saw this at his exhibition in the uh, Fort Worth like art museum. So of course had it nab that dude now this banger i will never let go me and jacob star shout the homie man a real one oh, boys it is time to go to church baby boy come on you already know what time it is stop it get some help so we got the 49ers tee right here and it's super nice because me and him were in the thrift and a kid was like yo y'all look like y'all are in the vintage i found this shirt don't really fit me right do you want it bro and he just gave it to me like he didn't know i made youtube videos he didn't know anything he just like was like yo you look like you're into the shits here you go bro and I was like, thank you. And because of that, man, I'm never gonna let this shirt go. It was just one of the nicest things a random person has done for me because I was like, damn, bro, like a lot of people, especially nowadays, will not do that. But I mean, the homie hookup for a person that I just met was unbelievable in that one. Now this one, you got the Righteous Rider Harley Davidson motorcycle shirt. I actually wore this tee when I did pull up to LA. Did we just become best friends? Yup. Oh. <laughs> in round two, so nice, man. Super soft, I love it. Uh, this shirt right here is a Tommy Hilfiger bootleg. I love the 90s Tommy booty legs. They're just so nice, embroidered. Kind of got this felt flag right there. Feels like a pool table, multicolored. Very cool. Now, oh, this is the same shirt I just showed off. What is I'm doing? Tripping. All right, now this next shirt right here is again Joker. Ha 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 Laughing his ass off. A uh, few people wanted to cop this off me. I remember the homie Jams wanted it, but I don't know, maybe I'll let you wear it. I just need to wear the shirt a couple more times. So yeah, that's how I have so many shirts is I'll wear them, then I'll rotate them out and get something new. Uh, this shirt right here is the Santas Claus. Ha ha ha, it's like Santa with a Z on the end, bro. Nice, but I love wearing this in Christmas time. And then of course you have the glow in the dark Halloween rendition as well. So shout out the Tasmanian Australian devil. Now this shirt is a Kanye West tour tee. I think this is the glow in the dark tour if I'm correct. I'm not exactly sure, but he does have the shutter shades, kind of the Star Wars font going on. Very nice. I love finding that Yay merch in the thrift. That was another Goodwill banger. This shirt I actually paid up for. I paid $100. Very relevant because of the last dance episodes that just dropped. You got that rod. Man, Nike T. 
the original SoundCloud rapper, um, and only SoundCloud rapper in the NBA, you dig? <laughs> but yeah, I mean, I got the pink hair, it's Nike white tag, made in USA, size large. I will never let this one go, I love it. When you wear a flannel with this, it's just Rodman's head just like poking out. This shirt, Space Jam, got this for $3 at the Texas Thrift in San Antonio, Texas. I remember getting this with my sister. It was the craziest Space Jam piece I found to date, or at that time. So I was like, man, I need it. And then speaking of Space Jam, guys, y'all saw me recently pull this out of the plug, man, the Family Thrift Outlet. You got the Space Jam shirt right here. Very nice, long sleeve. Kind of has this astronomical rendition of the Mon Stars and the Constellations. Very nice. I took two levels of astronomy in college. Do I remember any of that? Hell nah, bruh. Like, that class was so hard. The professor let us work together and everyone still got 70s. It was nuts. All right, so you got another glow in the dark tea right here. And yeah, someone asked if I graduated, I did. So you got another glow in the dark tea right here. Um, Takashi Murakami, Kanye West. Uh, very nice, love it again with the shutter shades, man. Low key privacy, but not all the way. But definitely will prevent the sun from just blasting you at times if you're lounging on the couch. So we love shutters. Anyways. Look at this, Cherokee Nation always have had a fascination with Native American culture. And on Audible, I have been banging some audiobooks. The Empire of the Summer Moon is what I've been jamming. And no, I'm not sponsored, but I highly recommend if you guys are just chilling to bang audiobooks or podcasts, kind of edumacate yourself here and there. But very cool, the dude is actually getting like busted up by this buffalo. Uh, this horse is just getting ran over, just truck sticked. To Murray. Pressure. Now this piece is also sick. Got it from the homie Jason, man, in Alabama. I do believe I mentioned Alabama. I hope so. But yeah, man, I got this Lion King tee. It is vintage. Got the old tags on it and his single stitch as well. Very cool. This is when Simba was like in his teenage uh, discovery. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? In years. So I love that piece. Now this other piece <laughs> is nice. It is the Seminole Nation. A hey, shout out Seminoles. Seminole, the Seminoles and Seminole fluid while we're at it. <laughs> but yeah, it's a Harley T. My homie Kinky got this shirt, so I wanted it. So of course we could twin. And this shirt right here is a Steel Pulse band tee. Now Steel Pulse is one of my favorite reggae bands as well. They're just so sick. Listen to the song Roller Skates by them. They go so hard. Definitely worth a listen. So I got this from the homie Pack Rats out here in Houston at a storage unit. And I was like, bro, if you listen to them, he was like, no, I'm like, bro they go hard so it was a really special piece to me man so like literally in this game guys it's impossible to know like every single thing so it's just cool when when you see something that you recognize or that like resonates with you and then you can you know share it with somebody else it's just dope so this piece right here is an undefeated black on black tee of course we have a little bit of streetwear mixed in the vintage collection but that shirt was thrifted at Goodwill again for two bucks if I'm correct. And this shirt, Tweety, you know what I'm saying? Nice poppy yellow, like rocking this bad boy with the yellow shoes. Kind of a spiral, little hypnosis design with a giant shadow. And then we have some NASCAR, fast car race, something shout out, you know, Uzi one time. You have the Dale Earnhardt, it's senior baby tees. This one's kind of American flag colored. It has the lightnings. Shout out the homie uh, Danny from Versus, man, in, uh, in Atlanta. You know, I saw him rocking this at a pop-up and I was like, man, that shirt's so hard, bro. Then I ended up finding one, so yes. I guess we get 22. Uh, and then you have this shirt right here, which is another senior baby shirt. And it's just the colorway, bro. Like it has violet. It kind of has this gradient from yellow all the way to orange. Super, super cool. Woo! All right, guys, holy Jesus Christ. I had to make a quick cut because uh, my energy was just fading as I was talking about these pieces. But next up on the block, dude, you have that dude, Robert Marley, again, artistically sketched on this vintage this time t-shirt right here. Single stitch in this biatch, and look at him, man, just wailing. I am Lion Zion, 1994 to 95. Shout out that boy, Robert. Now, this shirt, again, Houston, Texas, heat wave is going on right here, and we got the jacket to match it. So this truly is a match made in heaven with the Salem Sportswear Warren Moon T Interstellar Fire. Speaking of Houston shit, you also have the Akeem the Dream Olajuwon MVP from 93 to 94. This is just a sick shirt. Everyone needs a vintage rocket shirt to represent the hometown team. You feel me? Now, speaking of some other 90s era basketball kind of NBA merch, you have the Detroit Bad Boys 
you can't touch this. Mm -mm -mm. Got the two rings on it, and uh, it says Hammer Time on the front. Looks like you got Thor's mallet right there. <laughs> Bro, this shirt is sick. It's like on a Screen Stars vest, and anyone watching um, The Last Dance knows that Michael Jordan, to this day, still cannot stand Isaiah Thomas. It actually is pretty funny to watch. Um, this shirt right here I wore in my previous collection video. I got this sent to my P.O. box. It says, I'm the man, you dig? Tasmanian Devil T. And then on the back it says, Nuff said. So likewise, man, that's enough info about that shirt. Now, this is a little brand new piece of streetwear heat. I think that's a German a Shepard. But yeah, the Chinatown Market Tee, they blessed me with this piece. So, of course, I got to shout them out. Kind of nice banana peel yellow going on that graffiti letteration. Now, this video already is getting a little long, so I think we might have to cut it. I'm not sure yet, but we're just going to keep powering through. Um, this shirt says it's all good in the hood, and it has Bert and Ernie looking like Frida Kahlo with the unibrows about to hit a fat ass lick. Like, look at this, dude. Guns clapping. And this shirt is amazing because it has all this glitter in the silver designs. So when puppets go wild is basically what's going on there. Um, we have an all black shirt that should not be in there. I don't know why it is, but hey, you know what? <laughs> we gotta keep it a buck sometimes. All right, speaking of keeping it a buck, dude, my man, the Rainbow Warrior from the University of Hawaii. This fool looks like he belongs on a cereal box. Like homie looks like a leprechaun and that's just facts. And that's all, that's all we're spitting, dude. But yeah, I really like that shirt, especially when I'm doing some homework, or I guess work around the home, because I ain't in school no more, motherfuckers. I'm just teaching. Hey, class is in session, boys. Anyways, man, this next shirt says, uh, once is good, twice is bad. Again, Detroit Bad Boys T. I got this from a supporter, a subscriber in Atlanta. And look at that logo, bro. Like, that is one of the most vicious skull and crossbone logos I've ever seen, and that script is just mwah, visually delicious. Now, this shirt I found on the way to Miami, Florida, and it is a Sturgis 1993 vintage biker tee. And what's crazy about this is there's a hole kind of right in the middle of the abdomen region. So I guess you could low key check out my belly button. Now, just some weird belly button facts about me. I used to have an Audi, not the car, but belly button. It was like a low key chode dick. Uh, <laughs> but then it just developed into an innie. So I don't know, but. <laughs> You're welcome for that info. But yeah, dude, I mean, if a strong breeze kind of hits my midriff, then I can probably disperse some lint out of that body hole. You know what I mean? So, <laughs> shout out that shirt and that whole story. That was fucking ridiculous. All right, so the next shirt we have is this Albert Einstein tee, and I got this for a dollar at an estate sale. It's worth like about 80 to 100, and it's super nice, man. And then on the back, look at him. Dude is like hair goals, bro. <laughs> E equals MC squared, very nice theory of relativity and all of that jazz. Now this shirt I've worn a couple times, it actually is on my website, thriftofvintage.com. You guys can go ahead and actually check the site out if you feel inclined to do so. But yeah, I still like to rock this shirt. Um, so that's why I wear it until it sells. Now this piece right here also has a buffalo skull, rest in peace. I guess that dude who like charged into that Cherokee Nation tee got a concussion, eventually died and ended up on this shirt. So life but it has a nice pink color on it that i love rocking with these payless slides so again another match that just was wow made in heaven now this shirt i actually want to sell but not before i get a picture in it because it's on some like kung fu steez some kung flu steez <laughs> but yeah no it's fire dude it's just bugs putting in work Kicking Taz. Taz looks like he just got knocked out with the kidney shot. Got hit straight in the liver. Um, but yeah, I want to get a nice kind of pagoda theme pick with that dude on. Now again, Robert Marley, Buffalo Soldier. This shirt is sick. It's like that gray stone wash, acid wash type of design. It looks like it was just watercolored in uh, regards to the screen printing design. So yeah, it looks like someone went ham on that dude. So this shirt right here is a Nike box logo. Look at that, Nike Air, vintage white tag, and then it has the giant vertical rectangle on the back that says Nike Air. I love wearing this with some up tempos. It just is too crazy. Now, shout out Tom, inventor of uh, MySpace, <laughs> everyone's friend from like the early 2000s. But yeah, you got Tom right here. This is just an airbrush tee and I love having a vast assortment and collection of airbrush tees. Now again, soccer phenom, low key, maybe, I don't know. 
you guys be the judge. Hey, this shirt is really cool though, World Cup 94. This was sent from one of you guys to my PO box, which I appreciate. And that's in the video description if you guys would like to bless me, such as another homie did with the fishes that get you hella bitches all over coral reef tea. Like, look at that, dude. Look how flamboyant the colors are. And again, man, you got Nemo and Marlin. So I guess this is after the mom was viciously attacked and murdered. Now, for everyone who watched my little chain video, <laughs> um, I rocked this Magic Johnson tee. I found this in a recent trip to the thrift, and it is just an absolute grail. I mean, look at the quality. It's on a, a Nutmeg Mills t-shirt. And Nutmeg is just a delicious spice if you guys have not, you know, tickle your taste buds with it, then I highly recommend you guys do so. Add some flavor to your life. And also add some flavor with some vintage threads. This one just goes too hard, it's stupid. Now, hometown heater, Houston Arrows inaugural season. I found two of these, again, on some twin-ish. It got some like aer aeronautical engineering happening. Got the B-17 Flying Fortress just busting out the shirt, so much needed. Now this shirt is particularly special to me because I remember my cousin and I went to the zoo. I was rocking this in a snapback in like 2012 and she was like, you better enjoy dressing the way you dress now. And I was like, what do you mean? She goes, once you get a real job, you're not going to be able to dress like this most of the time. And I was like, watch me. And then here I am, still can rock this shirt, but it kind of was just one of those things where a relative will tell you something, just kind of attempting to kick game to you as a younger person. But I was like, bruh, this is gonna be my work uniform, dude, whatever I want to wear. So yeah, I just remember that conversation and having this shirt kind of motivates me to this day. Now, if I wanna look like a 1920s prisoner, this definitely does uh, enable me to do so. You have the guest jeans, all embroidered tee, everyone needs one, long sleeve. And then last and certainly not least, I think we might have to end the video here because I know this is already so long. I don't wanna cut it in like multiple parts, but guys, I just cannot have an hour long of me standing here talking. But look at this, tricky dicks, right? This shirt is so vulgar and just alludes to so much sexual activity, it's unreal. It says, not so ready Freddy. And these little thoughts have a magnifying glass pointing at dude's dick right these girls are just gobbling on a 12 inch foot long it says wait what does it say slap this between your buns has a giant wiener just dripping girl got some money like she's about to pay for that <laughs> and then you have like the front just as crazy like the bearded lady tricky dicks foot longs man the wiener for the world's best buns like this shirt <laughs> is so nuts his <laughs> His T on the shirt says Lil Johnson. So you got some inception um, happening on this T. I really wish it fit me perfectly, but the subject matter is just so insane on this crazy carnival of phallic symbols uh, that, you know what, I have to keep it. So yeah, dude, shout out Tricky Dicks and shout out you guys for watching this, man. Hopefully y'all have enjoyed um, a part one. I just don't want to get too tired that my energy starts to die. That's kind of what was happening around the 15 minute mark. So I had to be like, wait, hold up. We got we got to run it back one time. But anyways, I appreciate all the support. Get this to like 1500 likes um, and I will drop another one. So that's 1.5K for all you guys who don't know quick maths. But anyways, man, live the dream. Eat that ice cream. I love y'all. I'm locked. I'm loaded and I'm out. Peace. Songs, even a bloody life I rules And I'm in it to win it, so I'm somebody that you should get used to.